Kubernetes, the most popular word in the world of DevOps. Before getting to know about Kubernetes, let's get to know what is the agenda for this video. In this video, we are going to know what is Kubernetes and why we need Kubernetes, why it is matter to you, and finally, how to become hero of Kubernetes. I want to stress here, don't miss the last concept, that is how to become a hero of Kubernetes. As part of this video, I am going to provide a useful resource to you. What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is a container orchestration system which will manage your containers. Kubernetes is a portable, extensible and open source platform for managing containerized applications and services that facilitates both declarative configuration and automation. Kubernetes provides a platform to configure, automate, and manage intelligent and balanced scheduling of containers. You can create, delete, and move the containers to the different spot. Using Kubernetes, you can easily scale up and scale down the containers. And you can easily monitor your containers and easily you can solve the issues that arises in container. For example, because of some reason, one of the containers defined in the declaration part is crashed. But Kubernetes checks that, always ensures that how many containers or parts should run in the production. So if one of the containers goes down, immediately Kubernetes takes care of and ensures that one more container should create it and ensures it runs. Why Kubernetes? The Kubernetes architecture enables us a single administrator to manage thousands of containers running simultaneously. And also, workload portability and the orchestration of containers across on site deployments to public or private clouds and to hybrid deployments in between. Why Kubernetes matters to you? Why Kubernetes needed for DevOps teams and as well as data ops teams? First look at DevOps team. Kubernetes need, needed for developers and the operations team, basically DevOps team. Containerized workloads can be run on any platform or in any location without any changes to the application's code. Kubernetes and containers provide greater efficiency for developers. Instead of waiting for operations to provision machines, DevOps teams can quickly package an application into a container and deploy it consistently across different platforms. Whether a laptop, a private data center, a public cloud, or hybrid environment. When it comes to data scientists and operations team, the use of containers to encapsulate data science jobs provides the valuable benefit of shielding those workloads from the complexity of the underlying technology stack. This ensures the correct and consistent dependencies are in place wherever jobs are run. Whether on the developer laptop, frying environments, or production cluster. Combining Kubernetes, microservices, containers, 
and event streams with data apps makes managing and evaluating multiple models and deploying new models more efficient and agile. That's the reason both data apps and DevOps teams needed Kubernetes orche orchestration system. Kubernetes components. As usual, if you see any cluster, there will be a concept of master and node. In the same way, Kubernetes cluster also has a master, one or multiple nodes. So the master is the main management point for the cluster. The node is where the containerized applications are running. In simple terms, Nodes are where you run your containerized applications and you control the applications or containerized applications via the master. Master itself has some important components and we should know what are those components. It is CD is a consistent and highly available key value store that is used as Kubernetes backup store. For all cluster data. Basically it is a database for Kubernetes data and represents the state of the cluster. The second one is API server. This is the Kubernetes API as its name suggests. It is the main management point of the entire cluster. It acts as the bridge between various components disseminating information and commands. In simple terms, it is the front end of the Kubernetes control panel. Controller manager. This is responsible for regulating the state of the cluster and performing routine tasks. For example, the replication controller ensures that the number of replicas defined for your service always matches with the number currently deployed on the cluster. Another example is the endpoint controller adjusting endpoints by watching for changes in etcd key value database. The fourth one is a scheduler service. This is what, are, what assigns the workloads to the nodes. It reads the workloads operating requirements, analyzes the current infrastructure environment and place the workload on an acceptable note. Node. Node also has some important components inside it. Docker. This is used to run your containers. The second one is kubelet. It is the contact point for each node with the cluster group relaying to and from the control panel services. Proxy maintains the state node. Node has its own important components. The first one is Docker. This is used to run your containers. The second one is Kubelet. It is a contact point for each node with the cluster group, relaying the control panel services to and from. The third one is proxy. Maintains the network rules and performs connection forwarding. This is what enables the Kubernetes service abstraction, that is domain naming service. Kubernetes work units. Whatever the components that we discussed until now, of course they are good to know, but there are some other important work units you must and should know. The first one is pod. This is a very basic unit in Kubernetes that represents the unit of deployment, which is a single instance of an application which may have one or multiple containers 
that are tightly coupled and share the resources. The pod encapsulates the storage resources, an unique network IP and options that govern how the container should run in the pod. Service This is another important component in Kubernetes cluster. Groups together logical collection of pods which performs the same functions. This represents them as a single entity. Acts as a basic load balancer between pods. Label This is an arbitrary tag to mark work units, basically key value pairs. Enables the services to group several pods together. Deployment Provides the declarative syntax to create and update the pods. You can tell your deployment your desired state of your cluster and how many pods should run and how fast and when. It just changes the actual state to the desired state at a specified rate. Ingress This is another important component of uh, Kubernetes. This manages external access to the services, provides load balancing, SSL termination, and path and host based routing, which are considered its advantages over services of load balancer type. The ingress controller. This is what implements ingress definitions. That is, you write what you need in ingress objects, and ingress controllers will turn them into reality. In the beginning of video, as I said in the part of agenda, the last point how to become a hero in Kubernetes. So the time has come. I told you already, I'm going to provide very important and useful resource how you can learn Kubernetes efficiently. So this document provides and simple and easy steps to learn Kubernetes in a simple way. This document is prepared by the Microsoft and definitely you can expect good quality. So this document says that 50 days from zero to hero with Kubernetes. Yeah, it has a lot of information about Kubernetes where you can go through that. This is the path, the learning path. The Kubernetes story Fippy goes to the Jew. Of course, you can see the same uh, kind of uh, story that has been made by some guy and you can find that video on YouTube Maybe if I find it I will provide that link in uh, description section you can go through that and Yeah, they have a certain plan how you can Become an expert in Kubernetes in 50 days. Of course if you have enough time in a week or maybe if you are able to spend hours many hours in a day definitely you can become an expert even less than 50 days let me go through the document yeah day one a Kubernetes story Fippy goes to the Jew yeah let me click what it is what it says yeah it has taken me to the I think it has taken me to the PDF document yes yeah, I think this is the video I have seen in, on YouTube. It's more funny and if you know if you learning something as a story and you are listening to some story, don't forget the concepts and whatever they find it. Of course, it is taking time to load the document, but definitely you should go through this. And let me go to the next page day two to five video series with Brendan Burns yeah Brendan Burns is one of the co-founders of Kubernetes I know that I think I have seen this uh, video so oh, time back yes he's the guy 
they are very powerful and beautiful videos uh, with a limited time and you can follow these videos to understand each and every component of kubernetes like how kubernetes deployment work understand serverless kubernetes and serverless kubernetes yeah. definitely these are the must and watch videos for any developer yeah if you go through the azure kubernetes service yeah aks is the managed service on azure cloud if you are using azure cloud aks can be used to deploy your applications containerized applications in aks it looks very important document for me I'm going to provide the link of this document in the description section definitely if you are a developer and you need to know and you need to learn the, about the Kubernetes because it's booming and every project they are going to deploy their containerized applications on Kubernetes of course some of the companies they are using Mesos of course Docker spam but Kubernetes got more popular because it is invented by the Google and become open source so even mesosphere they are providing kubernetes as a service in their ecosystem so then you can think of how popular it is and how important for a developer to learn about kubernetes that's it guys don't miss this document go through this document and follow the each and every step to learn the kubernetes i'm going to provide this uh, link for this document uh, you can download from there and put your comments in my comment section and if you like this video please like it and give the thumbs up and if you don't subscribe to my channel please subscribe thank you